Good afternoon, dear viewers. Welcome back on this new edition of the Flash Info on Alfred Fake Television. Cameroon cholera outbreak kills about 32 in less than one week in Kribi. Close to 32 persons are reported to have succumbed to cholera in Kribi, south region of Cameroon, within a week. The information was made known by officials of the Kribi Health District, who have equally indicated that the medical facility has recorded some 800 cases of the infectious disease since the outbreak about two months ago. According to the health officials, among the, among the close to 1,000 cases recorded, four came from the Kribi Principal Prison, which is currently on alert. The manager of the health district said the first case was recorded at the Kribi Prison and then it spread across the town. The manager added that before the outbreak of the disease, a vaccination campaign organized by Doctors Without Borders was launched in Kribi, but due to protocol and security reasons, the vaccination team could not get to inmates. It is worth noting that recently health officials in Boya announced that the town was on alert after a case of cholera was detected. This uh, comes at a time when the country is yet to get rid of the crippling coronavirus pandemic, which has killed over 400 persons in the country. Still in Cameroon, exportation of unprocessed timber banned from 2022 countries of the Congo Basin have unanimously agreed to ban the exportation of unprocessed timber from January 1, 2020. The decision was taken during a meeting of ministers in, the, in charge of forest, industry and environment of Central African countries, including Cameroon, which held via video conferencing on September 18. According to the presentation memorandum, this ban will encourage at least the first industrial processing of wood on site. This will increase the production of derivatives and this resource is the world, in the world market which represents only 6% of world production of tropical swan timber, 7% of world production of tropical vanier, 1% of world production of tropical plywood and most importantly the absence of secondary and tertiary processing. Apart from the above, the restriction on the exportation of unprocessed timber was according to will according to the ministers create employment help in strengthening the local industrial fabric through the acquisition of machinery and increase the budgetary resources of the states of the Congo Basin. According to Jogo Tumuksala, director of the promotion and transformation of forest production at the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife, this decision is just a step towards the adoption of the ban. While meeting in their Council of Ministers of the Union of Central African States, Ministers of Finance and Economy of the sub-region will have to adopt this restriction before forwarding it to the Head of State uh, for onward validation. We are still in Cameroon where journalists arrested uh, during the September 22 protest released. The media men arrested in Yaoundé and Douala September 22 during the Cameroon Renaissance uh, Movement uh, protest to host the current president, Obia, have uh, all been released. According to reports, the three who were still held by security forces, including Tar Javis Mai and his cameraman Christian Tebon of uh, My Media Prime in Douala, and Lindo V. Gio of uh, Nouvelle Expression in Yaoundé were released uh, Wednesday, September 23, in uh, the evening. Tar Javis and his cameraman were picked up by forces of law and order in Douala while covering the demonstrations in that part of the country. Lindo V. Gio, uh, on his part, was arrested in Yaoundé at Maurice Camto's residence, which was allegedly stormed by security forces. They were close to seven journalists that were reportedly arrested on that fateful Tuesday, September 22. The others were released uh, the same day. This is all for now, dear viewers. Thanks for watching till the end. Stay tuned on Hofed Africa Television. Informations are ongoing.